This show is sponsored by PrintByMagic.com. We print directly to your bicycle playing cards. Hello and welcome to this week's Magic World Review Show. I am James Anthony and today I am reviewing a product called Just The Soul by Adrian Vega. And then also we'll be going into the competition, last week's winners, and also announcing, of course, this week's competition as well. If you haven't yet done so, please do click the subscribe button and the alert button. That will just keep you updated for all the latest and greatest magic reviews that I will be releasing as part of magicworld.co.uk. Uh, Magic World is, of course, our main site, or my main site. Uh, however, um, I never really mention that at the beginning of every review show, so I've just realised now I must mention James Anthony from magicworld.co.uk is bringing you this review, sponsored by Print by Magic. If you don't know what Print by Magic is, we also print playing cards for magicians all over the world. We've printed for the likes of uh, Dynamo, Shin Lim, all the greatest magicians we print for them if they need something for the television, as well as if you need artistries and all sorts of different kind of printing on bicycle stock, then do keep us in mind. Just ping us a message or go to printbymagic.com forward slash quote for a very quick quote for any of your project requirements. Uh, we can print anything onto anything as well. We can print onto acrylic, wood, metal. I'm diversing. Let's get on to this week's review show. So we're going to go for Just the Soul. Here we go. £34.99. Uh, by the way, as well, I'm diversing again. You might see sweat coming down here. That's because it's nearly 35, uh, nearly 40 degrees outside, it feels like. 35 degrees, 30 degrees, whatever it is. And I've got the lights on and the lights up here. So literally boiling to death but not complaining at the same time. Someone's going to answer that. So, Just a Soul by Adrian Vega retails at £34.99, and uh, I'm going to go through the pros and cons of this gimmick, whether I think it's a, a good little routine or not, and the difficulty level of it as well. Uh, this is a prediction effect, a uh, little bit like an any card at any number, but also you have another bonus effect, which is Just the Soul, uh, which he goes into in a very lengthy 40-minute tutorial for this product. Let's go to the trailer. And um, so here we go. He's showing you the cards, showing the card prediction at the end. Let's just go a little bit bigger and play it. So this is how it starts. You have a card folded up and placed inside a glass, which is your prediction. Then you see a live, supposedly uncut performance, but apparently some people on the cafe are saying there are cuts here. However, that's for t apparently for timing um, purposes and to speed up the uh, actual uh, trailer, so it's not really uncut, is it? However, um, this is probably the, the biggest downside to the routine right now, is that he had to touch the cards for a brief moment after she said her number. So that is the slight downside. However, it is done in a very casual way. I don't think that she would suspect anything in that time. And I think that with a bit more time uh, distortion between the two uh, moments, I think it would be almost forgotten that you have handled the cards as long as you do this right. So um, looking at that, the prediction, tips out the prediction, opens it up. Oh, takes off the paper clip, of course, first. And the prediction matches the playing card completely. So that is the product and uh, oh, we've got a bit more here now. What's this part? I'm just, oh yeah, so uh, I'm trying to remember this part of the trailer. I was did watch it earlier. Okay, yep, yeah, just the soul part of it. So yeah, lots of nice routines and um, let's get into what you receive. So at the top here, oh, now the top camera is not actually working, so Rather than panicking and stopping the whole review show, I'm just going to show you from up here. Why not? In fact, let's go to this screen here. So uh, in here, you get all this packaging, which can get tattered quite quickly, actually, because you get all this, which is nothing. And you, you get a special playing card folded up inside this envelope and one business card with a routine on it and your instructions. Now, you have to provide your own paper clip and your own deck of cards, of course. So essentially, that's what you're getting, um, a playing card, and uh, which could have been packed flat and fitted inside this envelope. So why on earth a massive box like this? Really, I don't know. It could have just gone in a little tiny envelope and uh, cut down on all of uh, Magic Shop's postage costs. However, um, this is your gimmick. It sits inside the glass. 
So this is a gimmick that's been made with bicycle stock. Uh, a lot of um, splitting and gluing and creating something that gives you four multiple outs. And that's all I really wish to say on the subject. Um, however, it also has a nice little features to it in the fact that you can look at it without, without actually looking at the card. You can open it up and know exactly which card that you've actually opened up to. So you know if it's a black card that you've opened up to. Or if they were to say a red card, a certain red card, you can fold it and open it and you don't have to look at the card. Because of the way the card has been made, you can instantly get to the card uh, diamond, heart, clubs or spades. So the gimmick itself has been cleverly thought out and I do like the way it's been thought out that you can do it without looking and because it is a casual moment. It's not a moment where you want to be thinking about things or look like you're thinking about things. You want to just be able to very casually take it out of the glass, open it right up in front of them and show them the card. And they don't care about that card after that point. All they care is that that card matches the prediction. So the heat that may be on this, there is none. You're opening it up very casually. You're showing that prediction. And in that case, then after that, I would probably just put that in my pocket. Uh, I would never leave it out on the table. This cannot be examined. Uh, but to all in all purposes, it's just a single card. Um, now, you have four outs and you have to do that, a little bit of work yourself with the deck of cards. So without giving away the secrets, um, let's say it's the four twos and she's gonna choose one of those twos. Then you have a deck of cards that they are gonna choose a number and now you've got a way of making the magic happen, that card appear at that number. Now you have uh, magic four choices. I'm trying to uh, say this in a way that I'm not giving this away to anyone else. Um, four definite choices that can be the outcome and uh, wherever they say stop, uh, sorry, wherever, whichever number they choose, uh, you can just merely go to that number. She can deal them down, sorry. And when they get to that number, that's their card and it matches the one that's inside the glass. Now, with I think about six or eight of those numbers, it will work straight away. He doesn't even have to touch the cards. If they say 15, 25, 35, or whatever it may be, I'm just I'm trying not to give anything away here. Uh, they can just, she, she can go into it. If for instance, they say 22, 23, there's a little bit of work you have to do. Now, um, there's a way you can do this just in a simple route and uh, which anybody can do. You could pick up this and probably learn this within 20, 30 minutes, you'd have it down in terms of you've got to understand the mathematics, very simple mathematics on how to get things to the right positions that you're looking for. Then there's a more advanced handling which uses a little bit of culling, uh, which generally, if you're spreading out the cards, you're casually handling the card at one point during the routine, which is a slight downside to any uh, card at any number. However, if done in the right way, it's very, very laid back. It's done well. Uh, if you just pick them up and just you just go through very briefly, open them up and close them very casually, and now you've done the work, but you must be able to cull for that. So if you want that very casual sort of look, um, very simple cull, not a difficult cull, but that is what you're gonna be required to do. Or you could simply do a cut. Uh, brings a lot more attention to it, and of course, if you see a cut, then it's not really at the number they said. So it's got to be done very casual, but I still think with complete lay people, this is gonna absolutely fly by. You could easily cut two cards from the bottom to the top, top to the bottom. Um, it really doesn't matter, but the downside is that you need to know their number prior to that. So they see you pick up the cards, so they know that something's happened if they see you cutting the cards. Um, but all in all, let's go into the quality of this gimmick. Uh, the gimmick is well made. Uh, of course, it takes a, a fair bit of work to do things out of a bicycle card. I was a bit worried about how long this card would last. So first of all, I think I would have to be very careful about how I'm transporting this card. I would have the paper clip on it in, in, in the glass. Uh, wouldn't Obviously, if you soak the card, it's ruined. It's not made out of any materials like Tyvek or uh, a matte vinyl sticker, which is how I probably would have made this gimmick because we can actually get matte vinyl stickers the same color as this and we could have uh, printed it and made it so that the gimmick lasts probably a lot, lot longer. Now, of course, uh, bicycle cards uh, do have a sort of varnish and it will last a long time, but I would be worried about the durability of this over a long period of time, and especially if it's in and out of your pockets. And also, 
I think it would, well, it will tear very easily. If you were to do that and tear it, it's going to tear. Whereas if it was a, a vinyl sticker, it would not tear. So there's ups and downs to this. However, I I do believe it will last a fair amount of time. There has been some gimmicking made to this as well. And also, if you bought the effect, um, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to remake this quite easily. Well, I wouldn't say quite easily. It's quite a, quite a hefty little challenge, but uh, you could remake this. I don't think that is given or any details of that on the actual routine itself. So I'm kind of giving you as broad a line as I can. I think... I think this will last a long time, don't get me wrong, it's not just going to break down after two minutes. Um, it will, I'm guessing 50, 100 performances, who knows. Uh, but after a while of keeping opening it, I think uh, it might just not last as long as maybe I would need it to, so I'd have to buy another one. But then, hey, if I get 20, 30, 40 performances out of it, it's worth it for me. Um, it's very much a parlour sort of trick as well. I think it works great on that sort of stage where you've got five or six people around you or you've got a little group and you're performing at a wedding and now uh, you've got a glass. Oh, I'm just going to take the glass. I'm going to put my prediction in there. Uh, and now you do a trick to five, 10, 15 people. I think it will go down great. I think it'll go down great for close-up and even more larger stages as well. Um, now, in terms of price and value for money, are you getting value for money out of this? It's £34.99. I think in terms of looking at the gimmick and the way that it's made, I would probably say yes, because to split cards is a very, very difficult thing to do. And to split them well and to manufacture gimmicks using bicycles, I know for a fact that this will have taken quite a bit of time to manufacture. Even though when you first receive it, you think, ah, oh, is, is, you know, is that all it is? But you look at it and you actually realise quite a lot of work has gone into making this gimmick. And uh, really, you've got to not worry about the thickness of this because it is a little bit thick at times. But the worry, the thing is, you're just opening up the card like that and they've seen that that card matches. The way that it's manufactured and the alignment is fantastic. So I can't fault the card. I think it's going to do exactly what it says on the tin in terms of that respect. So uh, that being said, I am going to give this a rating and a review. And I'm not going to put it on the screen because I think I left the last rating from the last show on the screen. And it's uh, for me, it's not quite a 10 out of 10 because I think... Maybe I would have liked the matte vinyl sticker um, or make it last a bit longer or a slightly more durable option. Then also, I think the price of it, I think the routine is nice um, and it will get a good reaction. Um, but it's not for a complete beginner either. I would say it's more for an intermediate for, for you to be able to understand and come up with and the audience handling that goes with the trick. So for me, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. I think it's a good trick. I think maybe, I wish I wouldn't have to spend maybe £34 on it. I think we should more like £24 trick. Uh, but then that comes down maybe to the gimmick and, and the manufacturer that goes into it. But um, all in all, yeah, I wish it was more like £25. So I think six and a half, seven. I'm going to say seven, uh, definitely, for this trick out of ten. Uh, so there we go. That is the end of this week's review. Please do let us know what you think of this effect, if you've got it at home, um, because it's certainly quite a lot of clever things with it, and you get the extra routine as well, just the soul. And I know there is Mark Oberon's incarnation, and there's some discussions that they were fairly similar. Um, now, in some respects, yes, and in other respects, there's additions to this. It's with a playing card uh, rather than just regular paper paper and it, I think the way you open this is nice but then there's other things the incarnation gives you more options of playing cards I think the full 52 uh, but it's more of a parlor and stage effect so there's uh, there's pros and cons to both of these I think this is great for that close-up sort of setting there we go we've done it We've done it. So let's go to the uh, prizes. Now, I already announced the prizes in last, uh, the review show two days ago, uh, but the prizes are, da -da -da, I have them up here somewhere. Uh, from last week's winners, we have Moshe Fachler and David Rothberg. So uh, please send an email to winners at magicworld.co.uk and send us your address and details. We'll get your prizes, your cards sent out in the post. Uh, for the new competition this week, simply like, share this video and uh, 
make sure you click subscribe, of course. Just leave a comment down below to say that you've done that and uh, you will be in with a chance of winning these decks at random next week. Now, uh, we will continue or I will continue to bring out uh, Magic reviews as long as the products are good that are coming out and I don't want to be absolutely slating products. So uh, if you have any products or are a Magic shop and you'd like them reviewed, please do get in touch. Also, uh, I... Yeah, there we go. That is the end of this wonderful week's Magic World Review Show. It's been a pleasure. Please do like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Ciao for now.